गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी वेलकम टू क्यूरियस माइंड्स आज का जो हमारा टॉपिक है वो है पार्ट सेकंड ऑफ चैप्टर वन स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज और ये है सोशल चेंज एंड डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया का की बुक का फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओके अब बिफोर वी स्टार्ट देर आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स वेरी फर्स्ट इफ यू सी शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स डोंट यूज टैम ओके क्योंकि अगर आप शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स यूज़ करेंगे मार्क्स डिडक्ट होंगे सेकेंड बेसिकली वी आर गेटिंग कॉमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग दैट कि हम लोग वीडियोज़ अपलोड नहीं कर रहे हैं वाइल्ड वी स्टार्टड दिस न्यू सीरीज वी मेड श्योर दैट इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम दिस वॉज बेसिकली अ ट्रायल वीडियो वी मेड इट सो दैट वी कुड अंडरस्टैंड वेदर वेदर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ यू नो वीडियो सच एज दीज इज गुड और नॉट so we did not get uh, comments regarding it if you're liking it just make sure that you know at least write it that you understand it so that we can continue so uh, for people who understood it and uh, still are commenting that they would want more videos uh, in this ser- series also uh, we'll be continuing it from today onwards okay so we were waiting for your replies maybe we'll get them in this one okay so without any further ado let's start with the uh, chapter now a uh, very first thing what we will understand here is urbanization and industrialization okay now industrialization it refers to the emergence of machine production based on the use of inanimate power resources like steam or electricity now first you have to understand what uh, industrialization means okay now here it is basically machine production this is basic understanding of it even the most advanced of traditional civilizations most people were engaged in working on land because of low level of technology development see now you have to realize that uh, though industrialization means emergence of machine production and people using technology but what happens is because there is this low level of technology not all people are engaged in this um, you know in uh, production machine production or in uh, factories etc there's still many people who still worked on land now the prime feature of industrial society today is that a large majority of the employed population okay it works in factories offices or shops rather than agriculture so this is what we understand the present understanding of the term okay which is that maybe when you say that this is an industrial society it means that uh, majorly large proportion of people you know they work in factories or offices etc so we, what we need to understand here is urbanization with industrialization okay now see uh, don't use with here okay very first thing now urbanization and industrialization they are usually associated together why ठीक है सबसे मेजर क्वेश्चन है व्हाई व्हाई डू यू थिंक अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन गो हैंड इन हैंड बिकॉज सी वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग नथिंग इज यूनिवर्सल लाइक नथिंग इज एब्सोल्यूट ऐसा नहीं है हमेशा साथ होंगे बट ऑफ इन देर टुगेदर ओके फॉर इंस्टेंस नाउ ब्रिटेन ब्रिटेन वॉज द फर्स्ट सोसाइटी टू अंडर गो इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन ओके it was also the first society which moved from being rural to predominantly urban country understanding theek hai so how does it go together what happens is when uh, this is a very simple explanation of it ki uh, what happens is when you have factories and industrialization and machine production people will look for jobs and then they will go to places places where they have good job opportunities right now where do these uh, these people have job opportunities where there are factories so where where are these factories these factories actually you know they uh, turn into clusters and you know uh, the cities emerge around cities emerge around these clusters only okay so urbanization industrialization generally to go together but it is not always it is not an absolute thing but generally they go together okay so in india what happened is this the impact of the very same british industrialization it led to deindustrialization in india in some sectors and decline of old urban centers now how do we understand this what happened was ki british mein industrialization hui right ab british mein kya hua 
सोसाइटी जो थी दे द सोसाइटी वेंट फ्रॉम रूरल टू दी अर्बन बट इन इंडिया द ऑपोजिट हैपन वाई सी डी इंडस्ट्रलाइजेशन कैसे अर्बन ओल्ड अर्बन सेंटर्स डिक्लाइन कैसे हुए नाउ वील अंडरस्टैंड दैट जस्ट एज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बूम्ड इन ब्रिटेन ट्रेडिशनल एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ कॉटन एंड सिल्क मैन्युफैक्चर्स फ्रॉम इंडिया डिक्लाइन इन द फेज ऑफ मैनचेस्टर कॉम्पिटिशन वी ऑल नो मैनचेस्टर कॉटन ठीक है मैनचेस्टर कॉटन केम अबाउट तो जो इंडियन एक्सपोर्ट्स थे कॉटन एंड सिल्क के ये भी नीचे गिर गए राइट दिस पीरियड ऑल्सो सो फर्दर डिक्लाइन ऑफ सिटीज सिटीज कौन सी सूरत एंड मसूलीपट्टनम वी नो दीज वर यू नो द फर्स्ट इस्टेब्लिश सिटीज जहाँ पे मोस्टली सारा काम होता था वाइल बॉम्बे एंड मेड्रास ग्रू वाई बिकॉज विद द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ मेकेनाइज फैक्ट्री इंडस्ट्री सम टाउन्स बिकेम मच मोर हैवीली पॉपुलेटेड क्योंकि बॉम्बे एंड मेड्रास स्टार्टेड हैविंग फैक्ट्रीज सो जो ओल्ड अर्बन सेंटर जो इस केस में सूरत एंड मसूलीपट्टनम है उसमें क्या हुआ है they declined and bombay and madras grew unlike britain where the impact of industrialization led to more people move, moving into urban areas why i already told you because they are factories so they will move to urban areas in search of good opportunities and good jobs okay in india what happened was the initial impact of the same british industrialization it led to more people moving into agriculture why because people lost their jobs ठीक है जॉब्स नहीं रहेंगी बट पीपल हैड लैंड सो पीपल स्टार्टेड मूविंग टुवर्ड्स लैंड ओके अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो लेट्स कंपेयर हियर ओके नाउ लाइक आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दर इज दिस डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इन द वेस्ट एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इन इंडिया तो ये कंपेरिजन तो हो रखे हैं राइट एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ वेस्टर्न मिडिल क्लास भी हुई है तो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स द कंपेरिजन सी Now the substitutes offered by East India Company and subsequently the British government were land ownership and facilities for education in English. Ab dekhe industrialization was here okay but what happened was with industrialization theek hai uh Britishers brought some changes very first is ownership change theek hai and they thought that uh, educating people in English okay those were the changes but problem was both these changes ownership was brought why because they wanted change in the land the agriculture productivity but what happened it remained unconnected to agriculture productivity ownership changed but ownership ka logon ko fayda nahi hua hai agriculture productivity badi nahi hai we've suffered okay and the second what happened was educa- education ke sath kya hua mainstream indian cultural traditions they show that the alternatives were not sufficient why because what happened was uh, indian cultural traditions you know they declined why because jo log the theek hai basically courts only declined theek hai their uh, arts and artisans ke jo patrons the they did not stay britishers aa gaye theek hai courts also went away Uh, handicrafts business also went down okay so what happened was agricultural productivity and mainstream indian cultural traditions both declined why kyunki jo ownership or education in english thi they were not proper alternatives or substitutes theek hai so there was no change so they could not create any genuine middle class you have to understand ki problem kya aayi hai okay so there is this difference Obviously, Western में middle class arose, but India में it did not happen. Why? Because India में uh, basically things declined. Okay? Uh, in very simple words, uh, whatever uh, money they used to make through arts and handicrafts and agriculture, it all declined because whatever alternative Britishers had thought of, it did not work in India's favor. Right? Let's move forward. now industrialization it's not about just you know uh, just a machine based production it is not just about that but it is also a story of growth of new social groups in society and new social relationships now we'll understand how see now when we talk about industrialization industrialization is not just uh, mechanized work okay mechanized factories not just that why because it changes indian social structure also okay it is about changes in the indian social structure how did it change 
firstly now cities had a key role in economic system of the empires jahan pe see whatever economic transactions used to take place wo kahan pe hoti hain cities mein from coastal cities primary commodities could be easily exported and manufactured goods could be cheaply imported ab coastal cities are very important right colonial cities were prime link between the economic sector or the core in britain and periphery or the margin in colonized india cities in this sense were concrete expression of global capitalism see now i've already you know for, uh, initially also in previous videos also i've told you that uh, why did uh, why did the britishers brought about railways okay or industrialization they did not bring this uh, they did not bring these changes just because they uh, they were concerned regarding the welfare of us they were not concerned about our welfare the only thing they were concerned about was their economic gain okay so how did uh, how could they gain economically very first thing was that entire india needed to be connected why because ye to aapne padha hai in order to have good business you know uh, import and export needs to be connected input jahan se cheez aa rahi hai that needs to be connected okay so what they tried to do was they connected major cities coastal cities why coastal say they used to export shipping ho rahi hai export import ho raha hai and coastal cities ko remote area se connect karna hai india ke theek hai just to you know enhance or uh, expand their own business so one can say cities were the concrete expression of global capitalism because these were the uh, like cities is one of those characteristics which helped them gain a major ground in india okay uh now for example uh, we have examples also bombay was planned and redeveloped so that by 1900 over three quarters of india's raw cotton was shipped through the city ye sab pehle kahan se hota hai surat right just above it but fir bombay se hone lag gaya it was a planned city redeveloped ki gayi and calcutta exported jute to dandi Madras sent coffee, sugar, indigo dyes, and cotton to Britain. So, these three coastal cities, eh, na, Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras. Things changed. Why did things change? Because, see, firstly, Britishers came. They set up new colonial cities, which also happened to be um, beautifully connected to the sea, to the ocean. Okay, so coastal cities and. Uh, which resulted in economic gain for them but decline in earlier urban centers okay urbanization in the colonial period saw decline of some earlier urban centers which i have already told like surat and masulipatnam and the emergence of new colonial cities kolkata was one of uh, one of the first of such cities see what happens is uh, britishers came they set up factories try and understand the process they came they set up the factory okay and uh, what happened was they were annexing also remember remember your history also while you study this they were annexing also kingdoms and kingdoms were coming under them so what was happening patrons were you know declining uh, courts did not have enough money to patronize handicrafts and arts so people started going towards land towards agriculture because whatever they did uh it did not work out anymore so they had to do something they went towards land what did british do britishers set up factories in order to you know gain their own ground in india theek hai inputs ke liye cotton ke liye etc so they made factories now people had another option to gain some money okay or uh, people started going towards factories जब फैक्ट्रीज के लिए गए हैं फैक्ट्रीज इज इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन पीपल गोइंग टूवर्ड्स फैक्ट्रीज इज अर्बनाइजेशन ओके वट हैपन्ड इज जहाँ पे वो पहले काम करते थे दी अर्लियर अर्बन सेंटर्स दे डिक्लाइंड एंड न्यू क्लोनियल सिटीज दे फ्लरिश्ड पीपल वेन देयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाई इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन गो टूगेदर मोस्टली इन मोस्ट केसेस ओके नेवर राइट एनी थिंग एप्सल्यूट टेक अ टिप डोंट राइट एनी थिंग एप्सल्यूट इट नेवर वर्क ठीक है सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड देर इज दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टी प्लांटेशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड नाउ इन इंडिया इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन इन द मॉडर्न पीरियड दे वर गवर्न बाई कलोनल इंटरेस्ट सो नाउ दिस इज सी दिस इज नो 
लाइक दिस इज नॉट अ हिडन फैक्ट कि वट एवर इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन वी फेस्ड ओके नाउ दैट वॉज मेजरली बेस्ड ऑन कलोनियल इंटरेस्ट वट एवर दे वॉन्टेड हाउ एवर दे वॉन्टेड सो ऑफिशियल रिपोर्ट्स शो हाउ द कलोनियल गवर्नमेंट ऑफन यूज अनफेयर मीन्स टू हायर एंड फोर्सिबली कीप लेबरर्स एंड क्लियरली एक्टेड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ब्रिटिश प्लांटर्स सी दे नो दैट वी वन नॉट अ डेमोक्रेटिक नेशन देन सो दे कुड यू नो एक्सप्लॉयटर्स एंड मिस यूज देयर ओन राइट्स राइट सो दे यूज अनफेयर मीन्स एंड दिस इज द वे दे यूज टू कीप लेबरर्स इन टी प्लांटेशन राइट सो वट एवर हैपन वॉज whatever happened was based on colonial interests let's move forward and understand industrialization in independent india for indian nationalists the issue of economic exploitation under colonial rule was central issue now why because hamari exploitation bahut hui hai now very first thing okay society changes very gradually but economically you come to know one day you have money and one day you don't what do you say things have changed right abhi society will change gradually okay so we were that sone ki chidiya but now we were poverty stricken country so wo jo images hain pre colonial fabled riches of india or jo poverty of british india hai wo hame bahut samne samne dikhne lagi right so economic exploitation became the major central issue why because it was easily seen okay and the swadeshi movement it strengthened the loyalty to national economy swadeshi and boycott okay bahar ki cheeze boycott kare and use what uh, people you know which uh, are indigenously produced modern ideas made people realize that poverty was preventable a uh, poverty is preventable but tab pata lagna uh, basically wo education hi thi english education it brought us you know it opened us to the world which was an unintended consequence of uh, colonialism okay indian nationalists saw rapid industrialization of the economy as the path towards path towards both growth and social equity now what happens is indian nationalists ko kya laga basically it might be that industrialization would lead to growth and social equity why kyunki industrialization hogi growth hogi growth se thode se paise aayenge logon ke paas theek hai logon ke paas paise aayenge maybe सोसाइटी भी चेंज होगी एंड सोशल इक्विटी की तरफ हम जाएंगे सो ये आइडियाज थे इन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया ओके सो दैट इज वाई यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई यू नो आर फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉन्टेड टू गो फॉर हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज क्योंकि हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज बेसिकली बेस हैं ऑफ द इकोनॉमी डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ हैवी एंड मशीन मेकिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एक्सपेंशन ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर होल्डिंग ऑफ अ लार्ज कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर वो कंसिडर्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट they were considered very important and this is what happened okay this is what happened and ye hi base hai so we've reached here because tough decisions were made then okay so you have to understand whatever happened we lacked our manufacturing sector aaj bhi lack hai lacking hai but then we did not have anything okay so uh, our uh, government the uh, government of independent india it thought maybe it was the development of heavy and machine making industries that could actually lead us towards the path of growth and social equity so now we'll understand uh, urbanization in independent india in india many villages all over india you know they are becoming increasingly subject to the impact of urban influence okay but the nature of urban impact varies according to the kind of relations a village has with a city or a town now let's understand urbanization in independent india okay now there are different kinds of urbanization okay uh, i haven't incorporated those here but uh, you can read it if you want in the box there okay uh, basically what happens is the relation a village has with a city or a town to village pe waise effect padta hai urban influences ka right तो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड कि अर्बनाइजेशन समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज यू नो जस्ट द मेल मेंबर्स गो एंड सम पीपल आर लेफ्ट इन द विलेजेस ओके समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट पीपल स्टार्ट लिविंग इन द आउटस्कर्ट्स और यू नो सो चेंजेस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सिटी और टाउन वे योर वेयर दैट विलेज इज लोकेटेड ओके 
So to conclude, one can understand that industrialization and urbanization not just changes in production system. See, here, what you need to understand that industrialization and urbanization, it just like it does not only change production systems or the technological innovations or the density of settlements, but it also changes the way of life. Now, how? Both these things change. See, very important thing, the most important significant thing in this chapter is that how you will in this part is how to understand the relationship between industrialization and urbanization. And the uh, better you understand it, the better, you know, you'll be able to write answers. So you need to understand the simple concept. Ki industrialization is not just, uh, initially it came as just, you know, machine production, etc. But what happened was, urbanization came with it. Jaha pe people aa jate hai, waha pe kya ho jate hai? Urbanization mein kya hai? People moving from villages to towns? So, jaha pe log aa gai, waha pe kya hai? Waha pe understand that when it is about people, it is more than just systems. We are more than technological innovations. Like, khali uh, settlements nahi change ho rahe hai. Like, clusters nahi ban rahe hai ke rehne ke. But, you know, there is this social groups which are emerging out of those. Thik hai? Our social structure is changing. Our way of life is changing. So, that is what you have to incorporate in your answer. And, jo, and don't just keep it, you know, uh, ki machine se ye hua hai, uh, positive effect and negative. Just make sure that you write that our society has changed. Like, social groups have emerged. New social groups have emerged, okay? Like, middle classes, etc. Though wo later part mein hua hai, initially nahi hua hai, but make sure you incorporate these things, okay? And uh, this is it for the part okay so here your chapter ends if you still have any doubts do write it in the comment section okay and basically you know we were waiting for your uh, comments regarding you know whether you found the video okay or not because our previous uh, video was basically it was handwritten and uh, this is purely uh, you know <laughs> like it, it is a technological thing okay so we've moved towards technology only because of the reason that uh, some of you were not understanding it, okay? So, just make sure that uh, now that you are understanding the writing, uh, if you understand it, share and subscribe. And uh, until then, just stay home, stay safe and study hard.